guys and welcome to Tech News. I'm Jax from the Tech Cousins and today I'm going to bring you an update on the DTX Titan which has just been released. So um, let's get right into this video, shall we? Yep, here we go. Um, as I told you, this graphics card actually just been released and it's going to look pretty much like this card and it is actually an real card or a real image from Nvidia's webpage so we can actually be assured that this is the real card so um, yeah and as I also told you in the last video I actually said that it will be going to be called GTX 780 which it is not going to be called it is basically not a add-on to the GTX series it is a Titan card <laughs> nonetheless um, we have to have a look at different aspects of course I told you the 18th of February is was the release date so pro shop the Danish web store was actually correct about that um, of course we're also going to have a look at this special or the official specs <laughs> benchmarks comparisons and of course the price tag and it's going to be hilarious wait and see what you're going to it's rather weird and it's extreme to be honest well Let's just get right into it. As you can see, this is the uh, official specs. I'm not going to go get through all of them, and I think I have a couple of them that is actually missing. But go and check Nvidia's website out, or any of the other um, tech forums, or what you ever want to do uh, to get your tech news. Because, well, there is a lot of information, and it's quite difficult to get hang of the right and correct um, information. However, this is actually confirmed, and I am. I think this is pretty much match what I actually thought about it. As you can see, these coded cores, as I told you in the last video, is actually still enabled or disabled. Sorry, so we can actually expect a greater card than this one. So that you should definitely be excited about and see what that will bring. Um, nonetheless, we have um, a basis clock of 800 and. Uh, 37 megahertz and a boost clock at 876 megahertz and a TDP of 250 watt which is a bit higher than we have had the last flagship as GTX 680 however it is actually not that bad compared to the performance of this card and we are also going to do a little or to see these benchmarks and see why this actually consumes more power so yeah that is exciting to be honest and of course it because this is a single GPU um, graphics card we are going to have two and three way slide which is really cool because now we can have like multiple setup and actually Nvidia actually showcased this um, graphics card with a three way slide setup so that was really cool and they just wanted to boast about how awesome that card is and how they uh, showed um, Battlefield 3 with the highest graphics in a surround sound or surround Surround, not surround sound, surround environment of uh, screen. So that is pretty cool. And of course, as we also know, um, six gigs of RAM was also um, correct. And of course, the uh, two DVI and one uh, HDMI, which is cool. And it actually has a max temperature of nine hundred of um, ninety five uh, degrees. And uh, the requirements is set to be a six hundred watt uh, PSU. However, I actually use a card that. Uh, requires 600 watt and I'm using 550 watt so it's not really a big deal but um, let's get get in let's get <laughs> let's just get into the benchmarks <laughs> sorry guys um, this is actually a um, a sound lateness test I think we will call that um, um, it is actually a comparison to the 680 and as you can see in crisis when crisis 3 when it is runs at um, yeah, well, uh, pretty much what it can ma uh, manage. It actually runs almost 50 FPS, and the DJX 680 runs about, well, 36 or something like that. Closer to that, at least. 37, perhaps. But the, f the special thing, or oh, the thing we have to look, uh, look on this benchmark is actually how much it, uh, it sounds and how much it will basically make noise. And as you can see, the Titan is slightly below the GTX 680, which is really... Like, a benefit and I really like silent computers because I hate like having a monster jet motor beneath my <laughs> beneath my desk so yeah that is pretty cool pretty cool um, yeah let's get right to the next and as you can see here I'm not going to get through all of them but um, you can read an article in the description which I'm going to upload very, very soon so keep an eye for that but this is basically um, the Titan versus the um, then the, um, this gen 
generations top card flagships what you would call it and as you can see it's not actually um double the uh, not double the uh performance um they are actually at somewhere between 61 and of uh, 82 uh, percentage of what the Tyson does so actually it's not really a high performance boost you get from it of course it is rather critical to if you want like <laughs> perfect FPS in all games the Tyson is for you of course but um, it is not really that much of a difference when you compare it to going sly and also because of the price I'm going to tell you why in a minute when you get to the price tag because well, two GTX 680 is going to outperform the Titan, and they are going to be cheaper in, with two GTX 680s rather than one Titan's Titan, so <laughs> that is pretty awesome. However, we're also going to have a look at the GTX 690 Quad Sly and a GTX uh, Titan Freeway Sly. And um, also, rather fast, uh, Crisis, a tremendous boost, hilariously much uh, compared to a 6th generation or... Uh, Sorry, um, a freeway slide, I mean free GPU cores, and um, a 4 uh, GPU cores, which is really, really weird, because I thought that a GTX 680 w or 690 would actually outperform this in this test, but nope, it didn't. It actually, the GTX Titan freeway slide actually outperforms the GTX 690 quad slide with a humongous um, distance, so basically in all of them is actually a quite big difference. However, Crisis stands out Max Payne at 100%, 100% extra, that is crazy. And Far Cry 3 also near the 100% percent mark, percent mark, and um, Elder Scroll also has a quite, but Borderlands 2, ga uh, but ba Batman and Battlefield is not that much, but um, well, it is a boost, however. But even though the GTX 690s uh, have four cores and the other one has three cores. You can probably tell that the GTX, this setup with GTX Titan uh, three-way slide is actually um, more expensive <laughs> than the other setup. So this is really going to be an expensive card. And if this is actually the tent, I'll say that if you can purchase GTX 690 quads slide. Um, compared to the GTX Titan Freeway Sly or something, you would probably not uh, want the Titan Freeway Sly because the other setup, the GTX 690, would actually be cheaper at per performance. So basically, it's not really uh, a reason why to purchase this. But yes, the price tag. What does this monster cost? <laughs> it is hilariously expensive, to be honest, guys. Um, are you ready for it? 1,000 US dollars. That is bloody crazy. Seriously, um, well, as the price performance of this card is down to zero, it's really, really an awesome card if you are one of the mo more, not average gamer, but a hardcore gamer and really want some extra power from your computer. However, we all, you can also see that the GT x 690 is actually almost the same price as this one so um so actually and they perform almost equal so or at least the gtx 690 is actually uh, faster than the titan and um you can also see that in the benchmarks but um the this price tag is just too high, I think, and I think it's like the fuss about this just been released and such. I hope that it will be um, reduced uh, to a more normal rate at some point. But remember, this is not an extra for the other rage gamer. It is a really hot co hardcore card, and it can actually also be used in workstations as well because it actually has some special specification, specification that it actually in, um, intended to be used in a workstation. But um, you could read about that in my article even further because I'm not going to bore you with that right now. Um, <clears throat> so basically I want to say thank you for watching this video guys. I am honored to show you this uh, news and I've been working quite hard on getting this out so soon to be honest. Yeah, I'm studying so I haven't got that much time. But um, of course uh, you can follow us on Twitter um, if you want some tech news, some fast tech news. I'm going to post them uh, at some times probably once a day or something like that, or even other things. And of course, you can like us on Facebook. I'm going to put a link in the description for these two links. And um, of course, you can also 
talk with us on rate call, which with the code displayed on the screen right now, please <laughs> display it on the screen right now um, at five six seven seven four six four. You're probably not going to remember that, but write it down. It will. It'll be a cozy little or nice little chat. Come into us cozy little community and talk with us. Nonetheless, thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.